Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to discuss about uh, fast switching of MOSFET circuit. Why it's so important? Well, slow switching leads to power losses, heat and uh, inefficiency. Think of it like uh, flickering a light switch slowly versus quickly. The slow flick generate more heat in application like uh, motor controller or high frequency power supply we need those mosfet is to switch on and off rapidly imagine trying to control the mosfet with pwm or building a high frequency dc dc converter a standard gate driver might not cut it they often struggle with the gate mosfet capacitance leading to slugging performance so what is the solution enter the totem pole circuit this is the clever techniques allow us to achieve the blazing fast and uh, efficient MOSFET switching. In this video, we will explore how it works, why it's superior to simple register pull-up and even we will stimulate it to see the difference in action. First, let's understand the problem. MOSFET have a smoothing called gate capacitance. Think of the gate as a thinny capacitor that needs to be charged and discharged to turn on the MOSFET on and off. Now, if we use simple register to drive the gate, that register limits the charging and discharging the current. Higher the resistance means slower the switching. This is especially problematic with larger MOSFET that have higher gate capacitance and uh, this leads to significant uh, switching losses and the heat. Let us stimulate this. Here I have considered gate capacitance as 10 microfarad so that it, it is taking the more time to charge the capacitor. For example, if I consider lesser capacitance value, it will take less time for the charging and uh, if there is no and similarly for the register R2. Instead of this, if you use simple driver to the gate, that register limits the charging and discharging current and we saw the slower rise time in the gate voltage waveform meaning the MOSFET spend more time in the resistive region dissipating the power not ideal right that's where the totem pole circuit coming to the picture this totem pole circuit provides the low impedance path for the both charging and discharging the gate dramatically speeding up the switching process let us uh, break down the component we have a true transistor that is q2 is npn transistor acting as a full ups and the q3 pnp transistor acting as full down r1 is the base resistance and r3 is the drain resistance while r2 is crucial for damping oscillation here q1 act as an inverter and level shifter when the input is high that is 3.3 uh, volt the q1 will get turn on following the q2's base low turning off simultaneously q1 pulls the base of the q3 low turning it on and this connect the mosfet gate to ground through the transistor q3 rapidly discharging it and turning the MOSFET off. Similarly, when the input voltage is low, that means 0 volt, the Q1 get off. R1 pulls the base of the Q2 high and uh, turning it on. And this connect the MOSFET gate to high that is equal to 10 volt through the transistor Q2 and rapidly charging it and turning the MOSFET on and register R4 ensure the Q3 is off during this phase. Notice how Q3 and Q2 provide the much faster path compared to the single register. This is the key to the totem pole speed. Here the register R2 play a virtual role in damping oscillation. Without it rapid switching could cause us unwanted ringing on the gate voltage and also note that this circuit perform the level shifting our input is the 3.3 volt signal but the output is swinging between 0 to 10 volt let's go to the 
bit deeper into the process when our microcontroller output 3.3 volt current flow through the resistor r4 and it will turn on the transistor q1 once the q1 gets on the collector terminal of the transistor q1 drops approximately 0 volt at the same time the base of the transistor q2 pulled down turning of the transistor q2 there is no current flowing through the transistor q2 similarly the collector voltage of the transistor q1 become the base voltage of the transistor q3 because of the q1 saturation it allow the current flowing through the transistor q1 and uh, q3 will get switched on and the mosfet gate connected to the ground through the transistor q3 and it provide the low impedance path to discharge the gate capacitance simultaneously the mosfet m1 becomes off similarly when the microcontroller output becomes zero there is no current flowing through the resistor r4 and this will turn transistor q1 off and uh, the resistor r1 pulls the base of the transistor q2 high and it will turning on the transistor q2 and this leads to the turning of the transistor q3 and at the same time the mosfet gate connected to the vdd through the low impedance path of q2 the gate capacitance charges quickly the mosfet will get on and if you need further fast discharge or if you need to reduce the discharge time we can connect lower resistance than the r2 parallel to the resistor r2 and with the scott key diode it will have to discharge the gate capacitance fast compared to the direct resistor connection so for the simulation purpose i have not considered any capacitance here and i will disconnect this one scott key diode so we'll go for the simulation let us simulate the circuit this is our input voltage and uh, this is our the simulated output of uh, base of the q1 and q2 and this is our gate charge if you see here when the microcontroller output become high the base of the q1 and q2 becomes low similarly and uh, the gate charge become low and similarly when it is low base voltage of the q1 and q3 become high and at the same time the gate of the mosfet will become high and uh, you can see the gate voltage how quickly it is charging and discharging for example if you increase the resistance value our uh, the charging time of the gate will become bit slow compared to the lower resistance so that here uh, resistor r2 play the important role for charging and the discharging so what are the pros and cons of the totem pole circuit the totem pole offers the fast switching speed reduce the power dissipation across the mosfet and high current drive capability and it also perform the level shifting however it is more complex than the single resistor drive and there is a possibility of shoot through current where both transistor are briefly on simultaneously careful design minimize this and a fast switching mosfet helps mitigate the issue this totem poles drivers are used in the variety of applications including switching power supply high power led driver class d audio amplifiers and rf power amplifiers if you found this video helpful please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more electronic tutorial let me know in the comments if you have any question or the suggestion for the future video thank you for the watching thank you